Have you ever wondered about the origins of our home, the Earth, in the vast cosmic theater? Today, let's delve into one of the most enigmatic chapters of Earth's history, the Hadean Eon. Named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld, the Hadean Eon marks the inception of Earth's geologic timeline, a period that spanned from four and a half to about four billion years ago. This was a time when our blue planet was not so blue, a time when Earth was a fiery molten sphere roiling with volcanic activity. The Hadean Eon played a pivotal role in the formation of our home, setting the stage for the creation and evolution of life. It's a mysterious, almost alien epoch in our planet's history that continues to intrigue scientists and researchers worldwide. Join us as we journey back in time to an era when our planet was but a fiery, uninhabitable sphere. The curtain rises on the Hadean Eon around 4.6 billion years ago. Our planet Earth as we know it was just beginning to take shape, a swirling mass of molten rock and dust it was in the throes of its own fiery birth, spinning in the vast cosmic theatre. The Hadean Eon, named after the Greek god Hades, ruler of the underworld, encapsulates this tumultuous period in Earth's history. In the beginning, our planet was a hot, glowing orb of molten rock. As it spun in the growing solar system, it began to cool and a thin crust formed on its surface. But this was no serene landscape. Violent volcanic eruptions were a common sight, and the surface was continually reshaped by the impact of comets and asteroids. The Earth's atmosphere during the Hadean was drastically different from what we breathe today. It was thick and heavy, composed mainly of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and water vapor, with trace amounts of other gases. This dense atmosphere trapped the planet's heat, creating a greenhouse effect that kept the surface in a molten state. Life as we know it couldn't survive in these extreme conditions. However, these seemingly inhospitable conditions were setting the stage for something extraordinary. The heat and pressure deep within the Earth were forging the elements necessary for life. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulphur. The Hadean Eon was a time of chaos and transformation, of relentless heat and pressure. Yet it was also a time of creation and origin. Amid the fiery turmoil, the building blocks of life were being formed. The Earth was preparing itself for the grand drama of life to unfold. In the crucible of the Hadean, our planet was being sculpted, shaped by forces too vast and powerful for us to truly comprehend. It was a world of fire and rock, a world that seems alien to us now. But it was this world, this fiery crucible, that laid the groundwork for everything that was to come. Imagine a world so hot and volatile, it's hard to conceive it as the birthplace of all life. The Hadean Eon was not a welcoming place, quite the opposite. The Hadean Eon, named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld, was a time of extreme heat and relentless violence. Imagine a world where the surface is a sea of molten rock, a literal hell on Earth. The surface of the Earth during the Hadean period was a swirling, seething mass of molten rock. The young Earth was a furnace, heated by the energy of its own formation and the decay of radioactive elements. The temperatures were so high that the rocks melted, creating a molten surface known as a magma ocean. This was not a calm ocean, mind you. It was a turbulent, roiling sea of molten rock, constantly churned by the planet's internal heat. The magma ocean was not a permanent feature, though. Over time, the surface cooled enough for the molten rock to solidify, forming the first primitive crust. But this crust was unstable and frequently remelted and reformed. The Hadean Eon was also a time of frequent and violent asteroid impacts. The solar system was a dangerous place during this time, filled with leftover planetesimals from the formation of the planets. These objects, ranging in size from pebbles to planets, frequently collided with the Earth. Each impact released a tremendous amount of energy, enough to vaporize rock and create massive craters. These impacts were so frequent and so powerful that they would have continually melted and vaporized the Earth's crust, preventing it from stabilizing. The constant bombardment also created a thick, heavy atmosphere filled with greenhouse gases, which further increased the Earth's temperature. Yet despite all this violence and chaos, the Hadean Eon was a time of creation, 
It was during this time that the foundations of our planet were laid down, the first steps towards the world we know today. Such a hostile environment seems unlikely to harbour life, doesn't it? But as we'll see in the next scenes, life is tenacious, and it found a way to take root even in these extreme conditions. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mysterious Hadean Eon. The Earth was not alone in the solar system, and its neighbours were not friendly. Imagine a celestial neighbourhood where the Earth, our home, resides. But instead of peaceful coexistence, our neighbours were hurling massive rocks at us, relentlessly and with no warning. This was the reality of the late heavy bombardment, a period of intense asteroid impact that rocked the Hadean Earth. Now, you might be wondering why the name Late Heavy Bombardment? Well, it's quite simple. It was late because it happened around 4 billion years ago, a good 600 million years after the formation of the solar system. And it was heavy because of the sheer magnitude and frequency of the impacts. These were not your average shooting stars. These were asteroids, some the size of entire cities, crashing into the Earth with such force that they could vaporize oceans and set the sky ablaze. The impacts were so powerful that they left scars on our planet that are still visible today, such as the famous moon craters. But amidst this violent symphony of destruction, something beautiful was happening. The impacts were so intense that they were literally reshaping the Earth's surface, creating new landforms and even contributing to the development of our planet's atmosphere. The asteroids brought with them water and other volatile elements, crucial building blocks for life. When these elements combined with the Earth's then hostile environment, they created the perfect conditions for the birth of our planet's first oceans. And so, in a twisted turn of events, the very forces that sought to destroy the Earth actually helped to create it. The late heavy bombardment, as brutal and chaotic as it was, played a crucial role in shaping the world as we know it today. The scars of this bombardment, the craters and canyons, serve as a stark reminder of our planet's tumultuous past. But they also stand as a testament to the Earth's resilience and ability to transform even the most destructive forces into a foundation for life. From this chaos, the foundation of our world was forged. In this tumultuous era, a significant event occurred, the birth of our moon. Let's dive into the prevailing theory of the moon's formation during the Hadean Eon. Picture a time around four and a half billion years ago when our Earth was a mere fledgling in the cosmos. It was a chaotic era with celestial bodies whizzing around, colliding and coalescing to form the planets we know today. One such collision transpired when a Mars-sized body, aptly named Theia, came hurtling into our young Earth. This was no glancing blow, but a direct hit, causing a substantial portion of our planet to be ejected into space. This violent impact resulted in the formation of a molten debris disk around the Earth. Imagine that scene, a ring of molten rock and vapor swirling around a fiery newborn Earth. Over time, the particles within this ring started to coalesce, drawn together by their mutual gravitational pull. Slowly but surely, these particles began to form a more substantial body, the early stages of our beloved moon. This event, known as the giant impact hypothesis, is currently the most widely accepted explanation for the moon's formation. Studies of moon rocks brought back by the Apollo mission support this theory, as they share many similarities with the Earth's mantle, suggesting a common origin. The moon's birth was far from a peaceful event. It was born from a fiery, chaotic period of our planet's history, a time when the Earth was still finding its place in the universe. But as violent as its birth was, the moon's presence has had a calming influence on Earth, stabilizing our planet's wobble and leading to a more mild climate. Despite its tranquil appearance in our night sky, the Moon's origin story is one of cosmic violence and upheaval. It's a testament to the dramatic and dynamic processes that have shaped our solar system and continue to influence it even today. The Moon, our constant companion, was born from this violent epoch. From the fiery depths of hell, a transformation began. After enduring eons of tumultuous turmoil, our Earth began to simmer down. The ceaseless volcanic eruptions and meteoric bombardments started to wane, and the surface of the planet started to cool. 
This cooling was not a swift process, mind you, but rather a slow and steady one, taking millions upon millions of years. As the surface cooled, the solid crust of the Earth began to form. This crust was brittle and fractured, like the shell of a hard-boiled egg. Underneath this crust, the molten mantle still churned with heat, but the face of the Earth was finally beginning to take a more recognisable shape. And then, something incredible happened. The water vapour that had been trapped in the molten mantle began to escape. It seeped through the cracks in the crust, rising into the atmosphere. As the Earth continued to cool, this vapour started to condense. It formed clouds, and from these clouds, rain began to fall. This was no ordinary rain, though. It was a torrential downpour that lasted for thousands of years, a deluge of epic proportions. This rain washed over the newly formed crust, filling the cracks and crevices with water. Over time, these bodies of water grew larger and deeper, forming the first oceans of the Earth. These oceans were not like the ones we know today. They were hot and acidic, not exactly the kind of place you'd want to go for a swim, but they were a crucial step in the transformation of the Earth. They helped to stabilize the planet's climate, and they provided a place where the building blocks of life could come together. The stage was set for the next act, the birth of life. The Earth had cooled, the oceans had formed, and the conditions were just right. The next chapter in our planet's history was about to begin. But that's a story for another day. Against all odds, life found a way. As the Hadean Eon drew to a close, a series of remarkable events began to unfold. The once tumultuous and fiery world was now a cool, watery haven, and in this new world, the first signs of life began to emerge. Imagine, if you will, a world vastly different from the one we know today. A world without lush green forests, without towering mountains, without the multitude of species we share our planet with. This was Earth at the end of the Hadean Eon. A world that was just beginning to cool down. A world that was just beginning to form its first oceans. In this primordial landscape, amidst the cooling rocks and the newly formed seas, life began to stir. These were not complex organisms as we understand them today, but rather simple, single-celled beings. These primitive life forms were the first to master the art of survival in a world that was still finding its footing. They thrived in the warm, mineral-rich waters of the early oceans, harnessing the energy from the sun and the chemicals in their environment to grow and multiply. This process, known as chemosynthesis, was the first step towards the complex web of life that we are a part of today. These humble beginnings marked the dawn of a new era. The first signs of life were not grand. They did not announce their arrival with a bang, but rather they quietly took root in the corners of the world that were hospitable to them. They were the pioneers, the trailblazers, the very first inhabitants of our planet. This was the start of a journey that would span billions of years, a journey that would see life evolve from these simple single-celled organisms to the vast and varied biodiversity we see today. Every plant, every animal, every human being owes their existence to these early life forms. They paved the way for all life as we know it. From this primordial soup, the seeds of life sprouted. The first signs of life had made their mark on the planet, setting the stage for the drama of life to unfold in the eons to come. The Hadean Eon, a time of fire and chaos, left an indelible mark on our planet. So what remains of this fiery era that saw our world's creation? The Hadean Eon, named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld, was a time of incredible transformation. It was an era that set the stage for life as we know it, and its influence can still be seen today. The Earth's geology was shaped during this tumultuous time. The formation of the Earth's crust, the tectonic plates that we now know and understand, took place during the Hadean Eon. The first rocks, the fundamental building blocks of our continents, were formed. These ancient relics, though rare, provide a glimpse into our planet's fiery past. The Hadean Eon, also left an undeniable mark on the Earth's biology. It was during this era that the conditions for life were established. The cooling of the Earth, the formation of the first oceans, and the development of an atmosphere laid the groundwork for the first signs of life to emerge. 
Moreover, the Hadean Eon played a crucial role in Earth's chemical evolution. The processes that took place during this time resulted in the distribution of elements necessary for life. The bombardment of the Earth by comets and asteroids brought with them water and other volatile compounds. The subsequent chemical reactions led to the formation of the first organic molecules, the precursors to life. The Hadean Eon was a time of chaos and transformation, a period of fire and brimstone that shaped our planet in ways that are still evident today. Its legacy is one of creation and destruction, of the birth of continents and the laying of the groundwork for life. It was a time that saw the Earth transform from a fiery ball of molten rock to a hospitable planet capable of supporting life. The Hadean Eon, a testament to Earth's violent past, paved the way for the world as we know it. Just as it began, the Hadean Eon came to a close, giving way to the next chapter in Earth's history. The conclusion of the Hadean Eon, roughly four billion years ago, marked a turning point for our planet. This fiery and tumultuous period, named for the Greek god Hades, came to its dramatic end, paving the way for the next Eon, the Archean. So what exactly marked the end of the Hadean Eon? The Hadean Eon was characterized by a molten, inhospitable Earth, incessant meteorite bombardment, and the formation of the Moon. As the Earth's crust began to cool and solidify, the frequency of meteorite impacts decreased, and the first oceans began to form. These changes signified the end of the Hadean and the beginning of the Archean Eon. The Archean Eon, spanning from 4 billion to 2.5 billion years ago, was a time of significant geological and biological evolution. The Earth's crust had cooled enough to allow the formation of the first continental crust. The cooling of the Earth's crust also meant that the planet's atmosphere could start to stabilize, leading to the first glimpses of life. During the Archean, life began to take hold in the form of simple single-celled organisms. These first life forms were anaerobic, meaning they didn't require oxygen to survive. This was essential because at this time, Earth's atmosphere was still predominantly composed of methane and ammonia. The shift from the Hadean to the Archean Eon marked the beginning of a more stable and hospitable Earth. It set the stage for the incredible diversity of life we see today. From a fiery, molten planet, the Earth had begun its journey towards becoming the blue planet we know and love. This transition period from the hellish Hadean to the more hospitable Archean is a testament to Earth's incredible ability to transform and adapt over billions of years. The fiery Hadean Eon, the first act in Earth's epic saga, had come to an end. So, what can we take away from our journey into the Hadean Eon? As we revisit the Hadean Eon, we're reminded of a period that was far from the tranquil blue and green Earth we know today. This was a stage of Earth's history that was defined by fiery beginnings, a time when our planet was a swirling malic of molten rock surrounded by a blanket of dense, volatile gases. This was the era when our planet was born, a time that saw the formation of the very first rocks and the creation of Earth's initial crust. Despite the intense heat and constant bombardment from the remnants of our solar system's formation, the Earth began to take shape, slowly but surely. It's a testament to the tenacity of our planet and the relentless processes that have shaped it over billions of years. The Hadean Eon also bore witness to one of the most significant events in our planet's history, the birth of the Moon. The colossal impact that led to the creation of our lunar companion not only gave us our nightlight, but also played an integral role in the development of life on Earth. The Moon's gravitational pull has influenced our planet's rotation, climate, and even the tides of our oceans. Speaking of oceans, it was during the Hadean Eon that the Earth began to cool down, allowing the formation of our first oceans. This was a turning point in Earth's history, setting the stage for the possibility of life. Despite the harsh conditions, the first signs of life managed to emerge, demonstrating the remarkable resilience of life. The Hadean Eon left an indelible mark on the Earth, shaping its future and laying the groundwork for the world as we know it. From the formation of the Earth's crust to the birth of the Moon and the emergence of the first oceans and life, 
The Hadean Eon played a pivotal role in our planet's history. However, it's not just about the past. The Hadean Eon continues to teach us valuable lessons about our planet. It reminds us of the dynamic nature of Earth, where change is the only constant. It shows us how even in the most extreme conditions, life can find a way. It highlights the importance of understanding our planet's history to predict its future and prepare for any potential challenges. In conclusion, our journey into the Hadean Eon has been a journey back to the very roots of our existence. It's been a voyage of discovery, understanding and appreciation for the complex processes that have shaped our planet and made life possible. It's been a testament to the resilience of life and the dynamic nature of our planet. The Hadean Eon, a time of fiery beginnings, has much to teach us about the resilience of life and the dynamic nature of our planet.